You will hear people talking in eight different situations. For questions one to eight, choose the best answer: A, B, or C. One. You hear part of a radio program. What is the person talking about? A. Cooking. B. Weather. C. Gardening. Of course, this is the time of year in England that I enjoy most. You can be outside late in the evening, pottering around. It's still warm, and it's not yet dark. There's a lot of work to do because things are growing so fast. But the air is fragrant with honeysuckle and roses, and you can already see the fruits of your labors in the kitchen garden. Of course, this is the time of year in England that I enjoy most. You can be outside late in the evening, pottering around. It's still warm, and it's not yet dark. There's a lot of work to do because things are growing so fast. But the air is fragrant with honeysuckle and roses, and you can already see the fruits of your labors in the kitchen garden. Two. You hear two people talking on a train. How is the woman feeling? A. Worried. B. Relieved. C. Angry. We're moving very slowly again now. It's infuriating. I'm going to miss my meeting if we don't speed up soon. Yes, we seem to be late most days at the moment. Mind you, I'm not too bothered today. Don't you have to be in at the usual time? Well, I should be, but we've got this rather awkward visitor coming in, and if I'm not there, someone else will have to deal with him. It's not my fault if the train's delayed, is it? I'll just ring in and sound as upset as I can. We're moving very slowly again now. It's infuriating. I'm going to miss my meeting if we don't speed up soon. Yes, we seem to be late most days at the moment. Mind you, I'm not too bothered today. Don't you have to be in at the usual time? Well, I should be, but we've got this rather awkward visitor coming in, and if I'm not there, someone else will have to deal with him. It's not my fault if the train's delayed, is it? I'll just ring in and sound as upset as I can. Three. You hear two friends talking. What is the woman's opinion about the possible tax increase? A. The government won't use tax income sensibly. B. Wealthy people are right to move abroad. C, the increase is necessary to have better public services. Did you hear that minister on the radio this morning saying they're thinking of increasing tax rates for higher earners? Yes, I did. Isn't it terrible? No wonder people who earn a lot all try to move abroad. Hmm, I suppose so. But they've got to get money somehow for hospitals and schools. Yes, but do they spend it on hospitals and schools? Well, I wouldn't mind paying a bit more tax myself, as long as they do use it properly. Oh no, you can't trust them. Did you hear that minister on the radio this morning saying they're thinking of increasing tax rates for higher earners? Yes, I did. Isn't it terrible? No wonder people who earn a lot all try to move abroad. Hmm, I suppose so. But they've got to get money somehow for hospitals and schools. Yes, but do they spend it on hospitals and schools? Well, I wouldn't mind paying a bit more tax myself, as long as they do use it properly. Oh no, you can't trust them. Four. You hear two friends talking on a park bench. What are they discussing? 
A. A drink. B. A salad. C. A cake. Mmm, this is delicious. Did you make it yourself? Yes, I did. It's very simple. Well, it's certainly much nicer than anything you can buy in the shops. For that matter, it's better than anything I've ever had at that cafe in town. That one that specialises in juices and shakes. Will you give me the recipe? Of course. The important thing is to have really fresh ingredients. Mmm, this is delicious. Did you make it yourself? Yes, I did. It's very simple. Well, it's certainly much nicer than anything you can buy in the shops. For that matter, it's better than anything I've ever had at that cafe in town. That one that specialises in juices and shakes. Will you give me the recipe? Of course. The important thing is to have really fresh ingredients. 5. You overhear two people talking on a bus. What is their relationship? A. Husband and wife. B. Boss and employee. C. Friends. So what happened then? Well, the MD went purple in the face and looked absolutely furious. Fortunately, the fire alarm then went off, and I guess he'd cooled down a bit by the time we were allowed back into the building. Oh, well, that's good. So no one got the sack? Not today, at least. Are you getting off here tonight? Yes, I'm going to my mum's before I go home. I look forward to the next instalment tomorrow, then. So what happened then? Well, the MD went purple in the face and looked absolutely furious. Fortunately, the fire alarm then went off, and I guess he'd cooled down a bit by the time we were allowed back into the building. Oh, well, that's good. So no one got the sack? Not today, at least. Are you getting off here tonight? Yes, I'm going to my mum's before I go home. I look forward to the next instalment tomorrow, then. 6. You hear someone talking on the radio. What has happened? A. A road accident. B. A crash in a car race. C. Some injuries due to flooding. Three people were slightly injured in the pileup, but amazingly most of the people involved escaped unhurt. The AA has strongly criticised drivers for not reducing their speed in such difficult weather conditions. The rain is likely to continue in most areas for some hours yet, and caution is urged on all roads. Three people were slightly injured in the pileup, but amazingly most of the people involved escaped unhurt. The AA has strongly criticised drivers for not reducing their speed in such difficult weather conditions. The rain is likely to continue in most areas for some hours yet, and caution is urged on all roads. 7. You hear two people talking in a restaurant. Where does the man want to sit? A. By the window. B. Near the kitchen. C. At a quiet table. Shall we sit here? It's nice to be able to watch people on the street as we eat. Hmm. It might be a bit drafty by the door. How about over there, then? But it's right by the kitchen. The waiters will be walking right past us all the time. You choose, then. I really don't mind, as long as we can eat soon. Let's go over in that corner, then. It doesn't look too noisy there. OK. I just hope the waiters will notice us there, though. I'm starving. Shall we sit here? It's nice to be able to watch people on the street as we eat. Hmm. It might be a bit drafty by the door. How about over there, then? But it's right by the kitchen. The waiters will be walking right past us all the time. You choose, then. I really don't mind, as long as we can eat soon. Let's go over in that corner, then. It doesn't look too noisy there. OK. I just hope the waiters will notice us there, though. I'm starving. 8. You hear a radio show about a new book. How much does the woman like the book? 
A. Very much. B. A little. C. Not at all. Having enormously enjoyed all of Smith's other novels, I had high hopes of this one. Somehow, though, it didn't live up to my expectations. The characters were not quite as convincing as they usually are, and the plot rather predictable. Nevertheless, there are some lovely moments. I particularly enjoyed the opening scene. Having enormously enjoyed all of Smith's other novels, I had high hopes of this one. Somehow, though, it didn't live up to my expectations. The characters were not quite as convincing as they usually are, and the plot rather predictable. Nevertheless, there are some lovely moments.